Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. Today's video we're going to be showing you how we make our salsa. So let's get to the video. I want to start out this video by saying this. We've been blessed that our gardens actually came in good this year. Our tomatoes are doing good. The jalapenos are doing good. The onion, everything in the gardens is doing real good. I will go a step further if you've never planted a garden. One thing that will help you in the future is to go get a soil test. We got here late last year when we moved to East Texas and we did not have the time to get the soil test and our little vegetable garden that we did get planted late uh, showed. So <clears throat> we did do the soil test this year. We went through Texas A&M. They did our soil test for us, told me exactly what I needed for our garden to do good with the vegetable garden and it's doing great. So let's go into the wood shop kitchen. I'm gonna show you how we make our own salsa. And then also I'm gonna give you some options for getting home fresh salsa if you don't have your own garden or arrow garden. So again, as many of you know, we got an arrow garden last year for Christmas, Angie and I did, and we were able to grow our own little salsa garden inside throughout the winter. Again, I love my salsa. Looking at the seven day forecast, we're gonna be up in the hundreds over the next several days, and there's nothing better to me than coming in from outside in the heat and sitting down and eating some fresh salsa that's just refrigerator cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, we've, we're gonna be using some of our own fresh tomatoes. We've got some onions and we've got some jalapenos. You're gonna watch as we're doing this video in the background. Basically, we're gonna put it all into the blender and go easy as you're blending, because if you use the blender on high, you'll end up with what ends up being more like tomato paste instead of salsa. So I do a lot of stuff in the background to just make it to where it's more chunky. Now then, with that said, this salsa that we just got done making is on the hot side. I am a salsa connoisseur and I love my salsa. I've been making my own salsa for about 25 years now. Again, this recipe, we're basically using a handful of jalapenos to your liking, an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, as well as some homegrown tomatoes. Now, for you guys that don't have your homegrown tomato, I've got to pass this along. And this video I'm basically only making because of something that I found that I want to share to you. And that's this right here. This is salsa. It's made here in East Texas by a guy. He's got his own little company, if you will, and it's called The Carpenter's Garden. I was working at Tractor Supply briefly for something to do and kind of get to meet some of the people in the community here in Marshall because I'm new to this area and I don't know too many people. So I went to work there part time. One of the people I met, her name is Susan and she's not only a great supervisor, she's a great person and I really enjoyed working with her and working for her. And I was talking to her one day and she was telling me that her brother makes salsa and this is his company. Again, it's called The Carpenter's Garden. I'll put a link down below in the description to where you can find his Facebook page. But the long story short, I said, hey, have your brother bring me a couple of jars of the salsa. Me being skeptical because I love my own salsa so much, I generally do not buy any salsa in a jar. I just don't. I make my own and I do it year round and I, I've got other options. But this video specifically, I just can't brag on this company enough. So he brings me a couple of jars, of, I believe it was the hot that he brought when I got off work from Tractor Supply that day. I came home and me and Angie, we sat down. It's nice and warm outside. We pour a little bit of j into the jar just to test it and see how it is. And before we knew it, we had actually eaten the entire jar. And it's like, oh my gosh, this stuff is, is uh, right. It's better than mine, guys, and I love mine. And, and there's just really no way to say it other than it's better than mine. This stuff is great. So what I did is the next day I go back to work and I'm like, hey Susan, I need to get a hold of your brother. And I ended up, I went over to his Facebook page and I ordered 10 more jars of the salsa. I got eight of the hot, no, six of the hot, two of the extra hot, and it actually comes with a warning label because it is really hot. And then I got two of the mild for Angie because she doesn't really like it as spicy as I do. Another thing which I'll go ahead and throw in here if you like the hot sauce, like Tabasco sauce, he makes that as well. We did get a jar of that, and that stuff is just as good 
as any hot sauce that I've ever had or put on my eggs or burritos or anything else that you might think of, especially like breakfast burritos. This salsa that he makes or the sauce that he makes is just as awesome as the salsa. So again, guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you don't have a way to make your own homegrown salsa, this is gonna be your next best option. Again, I haven't found a salsa that's this good ever, and I'm so proud that there. it's just another small company here in East Texas. As you guys know, we love to support smaller channels. We love to support smaller mom-pop businesses, and this stuff is phenomenal. And the best thing I could do is say, go over there, check out his Facebook page. If you're in the East Texas area, he does hit a lot of the local trade shows, farmer's markets, and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna follow up with this. You might want to get yours before they're all gone. Again, thanks for tuning in to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Share this video with your friends. Share this video with your family. As always, have a blessed week.